Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do summary statistics or descriptive statistics in Microsoft Excel. You can see I have some data over here with a results of students in different subjects has been displayed. And what I'm really interested in is the result of physics. I want to know what are the mean value over here, what is the standard error, what is minimum or maximum value and standard deviation. In order to do all these things in just one click, I would use descriptive statistic. First, you need to go to your data tab and here you would see the option data analysis. And if you click on this data analysis tab, then inside it you would see descriptive statistics. But if somehow you don't see this data analysis tab in your version of Microsoft Excel, then you can go to file, more, options, and here you have add-ins and uh, click on this go and here is analysis tool pick just check it and click on ok and your data analysis tab would appear over here so let me get down to the business to find the summary statistics of physics results or physics grades over here click on data analysis tab descriptive statistics click ok and uh, here you can see first you will have to give it input range so i would click over it and I will choose this physics result or the physics grades. Click on this down arrow. Now labels in the first row, since we have also selected this physics part, so I would click on labels in the first row. Check this summary statistic. Again, confidence level of mean. Click over it. Now, if you want to display your descriptive statistic in a new worksheet, then you can click this option. Since I'm interested to have my result over here, so I would choose this output range. Click over here and I would uh, select this cell. Again, click over here and now click on OK. And here we go. Everything is done in no time. You can see our physics result is displayed before us with mean, standard error, median mode up to confidence level in no time. So you can do all these things in just a single click. I hope you have learned something new in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.